Hey everyone, Steve here again, and welcome along to the third and final part of my Metal Gear Solid 4 Trophy Roundup. This time around we're going to be looking at a few of the ones we've missed previously, as well as going through all of the iPod song locations. So what do you say? Should we get started? Thought you'd agree with that. For this trophy, you need to have the Tanagashima gun, which you can only buy from Drebin for 1 million Drebin points. Or you can wait until Act 5, when he cuts his prices by 50%, and you can pick it up for the bargain price of 500,000 instead. I mean, the choice is yours, but personally I'd go for the cheaper option. Anyway, the best time to get this trophy is in Act 1 or 2. And all you do is equip the gun, point, and shoot. And watch the whirlwind happen! I will note, however, that after I got this trophy, I spent some time just shooting things to see if there was anything specific you had to do to make it trigger. But it turns out that it's just completely random. Although you are better aiming at something far away, as opposed to things that are up close. This trophy you cannot get on your first playthrough. You can only get it from your second playthrough onwards. Purely because you need to have the Sorrow Doll equipped, which you can only get from Mantis in Act 5. You're also going to need the digital camera, which you can pick up from any mission briefing that takes place on the Nomad. To get that, all you need to do is take control of the Mark II or Mark III and send it behind Sunny's desk. The camera will always be there. Now, there are some 30 ghosts that you can potentially take pictures of in Act 4 on Shadow Moses. However, you only need 5 of them to get the trophy. So, I'm only going to show you the first 5 that you can get. Here they are. Solid snake? The legendary Solid Snake? You? You? Don't worry. You'll land back on me. This trophy is really simple. When you're in Act 4, once you take control of Rex, just hold Triangle at any point. And now we reach the main part of this video. The different locations for all of the iPod songs of which there are 40, but you can only get 38 during regular gameplay. The final two, as I mentioned in my last video, are tied into the different emblems. You get one song for achieving the big boss emblem, and you get the second song for getting all 40 emblems. However, now I'm going to be talking about the other 38, and this is where you get them. For the most part, I'm going to be keeping quiet on this bit because it's just easier to show you rather than explain where things are. But I will pipe up from time to time on different ones. So, here we go. 
Straight off the bat, we're given a bit of a tricky one. You can find this iPod song in the Act 1 briefing, but you can only get to the Act 1 briefing from the main menu before you've even started the game. You will not see this briefing from playing through the game normally, which is really cheeky. And the effect they have on the economy. War is to the 21st century what oil was to the 20th. The pillar that supports the global economy. You'll recall a rather alarming report issued by that American. These next four songs all follow the same vein, but they are kind of tricky to get. To get these ones, you need to give healing items to the rebels. Healing items count as either rations, noodles, or the regain caffeine shots, whatever the hell they are. But it's entirely random. There's no set pattern to this. It's entirely possible that you might get all four songs from one rebel. But it's much more likely that you're going to get one from each person. Now, I should note, you're not going to be given items straight away. It's going to take you a while to get their trust. So the first couple of guys you give things to, they're not going to give you anything. I think it takes about four or five different people before they start trusting you and then they give you things. And like I said, it's completely random. You're going to get these from the four different people than I have. Also, don't worry if you don't get it in Act 1. You can also give stuff to the Rebels in Act 2, and you can still get them from them. We're now into the Act 2 songs, in case you were wondering. This song is actually in the same area as the previous one. It's just in the building to the north of that whole water area.
And this one is in the mansion grounds. As soon as you go through those gates that that bulldozer destroys, just head right and stick to the wall. And now we're on to Act 3! Dr. Emmerich, Liquid is in Eastern Europe. He's after the corpse of Big Boss. Uh-huh. What for? It's the final key he need to gain access to SAP. The keys to the system are Big Boss's genetic code and biometric data. Without them, there's no way to gain access. Wait! What's Liquid been doing? For this song, once you've located the Resistance member on that very first area, just head back to the train station. To get this song, you need to perform a body search on one of the PMC soldiers. Now, most people seem to find this song on this guy. The one to the right of the park when you come up to it for the first time. However, if you don't find it on this guy, you're gonna have to go and search everyone to find it. Get up. Freeze. For this one, you need to do a body search on the resistance member at any point. Time for Act 4! In the beginning, the Patriot system was controlled by four AIs, with JD at the top. One of those AIs was GW. The Patriot thought it had been destroyed, but Liquid was able to use it as cover to slip inside the system. This is the ventilation shaft on the top floor of the entrance. Just follow it right to the end. Snake. This is McDonald Miller. Campbell told me about the situation.
these next two are a bit sneaky. To get these, you need to input specific codes when Otacon prompts you to at his terminal. However, there are two different codes, but you can only put in one code for each playthrough. So you're going to need to remember which one you've done on the first playthrough, and then put the second number in on the second playthrough. For this song, once Otacon has opened the door after you've dealt with the gecko, you need to head back, which is slightly annoying. And I highly recommend you use some chaperones for this because it's going to make it so much easier. Because otherwise, you're going to have to fight your way through all of these damn scarabs. Unless you feel like you are the stealth king and can get upstairs without being seen by any of them. Which is going to be a challenge in itself. And you've already got enough things to worry about in this game. Than making things more difficult for yourself. This is the door you're facing right after you beat Crying Wolf. And now for the only song on Act 5, and it's right near the start. And that's all the iPod song locations. Like I said, that's going to take you up to 38. The final two are tied into the emblems, one for the big boss emblem and the second for getting all 40. If you're going for those ones, good luck. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.